Tonight, a Florida man is behind bars in connection with a theft of $312,000 of electronics from Verizon Wireless in Marion. We have the latest next. Plus, a judge has found a Murfreesboro man guilty of murder. More coming up. And Benton held a lottery to determine name placement for city commissioner candidates on April's ballot. We have those stories and more tonight on a Friday night edition of News 24 at 10. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I managed to rummage out the pink tonight as we continue to celebrate Christmas here at News 24. We have a lot of news to get to, but we begin with new news at 10. A Florida man is behind bars in connection with a theft of $312,000 in electronics from Verizon Wireless in Marion. Joanne Valdez, 28, of Miami, Florida, was arrested today on charges of receiving stolen property first- and second-degree fleeing or evading police. Today, Marion authorities said the suspect had been tracked to a business on Cairo Road at Interstate 24, Exit 3. Paducah officers found the suspect's U-Haul truck and tried to stop it as it pulled onto Interstate 24. The truck ran off the road and into a fence, and the driver jumped out and fled. Officers chased the driver nearly a mile, catching him in an industrial park area west of Olivet Church Road. The driver, Joanne Valdez, was arrested and booked into the McCracken County Regional Jail. A judge has found a Murfreesboro man guilty of murder, perjury, and other gun charges. Cortez Turner was one of the two men charged with murder in the 2016 drive-by shooting of Detrick Rogers. Turner will be sentenced within 60 days, but an exact date has not yet been set. To the weather, where some clearing is on the way tomorrow, here's Terry in with the latest. Alright, thanks Terry. Turning to Benton tonight, where today Benton held a lottery to determine name placement for city commissioner candidates on April's ballot. City Clerk Brooke Craig says each of the eight candidates who filed December 10th at 8 a.m. were assigned a number. A police officer then drew the numbers out of a bucket to determine their place on the ballot. Craig says simultaneous filing happens often, so the city usually has to conduct a lottery. Craig adds that one city commissioner candidate filed a week later than everyone else and will be automatically have his name placed ninth on the ballot. On April 2nd, 2019, voters will choose four city commissioners and one mayor. Current mayor Fred Cordritz filed on December 10th, so his name will be placed on the ballot before mayoral candidate Roy Shimkus, who filed on December 17th. A woman who lost her husband a month ago was left with more than a $1,000 towing bill, but didn't know if it was after she went to pick up his motorcycle. Now, the widow is urging others to familiarize yourself with what your insurance will cover. Sandra Call is dealing with the loss of her husband of 10 years. Forty-seven-year-old Army veteran Jason Call died Wednesday, November 21st, while riding his motorcycle on Route 37 south of West Frankfort between County Line Road and South Point Lane. Jason collided with another man's motorcycle in the group around 8 p.m.
Sandra immediately asked the Franklin County Sheriff's Department about the bike being held at Abbott's Towing in Benton. She says the deputy told her she wouldn't be in charge of the fees because she wasn't aching the bike to be held. For 14 days, the bike stayed at Abbott's Towing while the deputies investigated the crash. This racked up a $1,325 bill with the towing company, $250 for towing, three hours at the crash site for $125 an hour, and 14 days of impound at $50 a day. We reached out to the Franklin County Sheriff's Office asking why Sandra was asked to pay this bill when she had no control over the bike being impounded. Former Sheriff John Don Jones said the county wouldn't pay the bill because then it would put off the taxpayers. We then asked if it was normal for accident reconstruction to be ongoing for 14 days. Jones says that is not surprising. He knows of a one crash vehicle with no fatalities that was being investigated for two years. Current Sheriff Dave Bartoni says the county can't hold the bike because they don't have any storage. Two weeks after Jason said, Sandra was told she could pick up the bike. <laughs> Under Illinois state law, any towing or storage charges can be paid by the business's choice of cash, debit, or credit card, check, or wire transfer. Sandra just wants others to understand the system so no one else is blindsided like her. Sandra says Abbott's towing did reduce her bill by $225 after they heard her concerns. A number of agencies have tentative plans to open an emergency warming center to supplement Carbondale's existing homeless shelter system. That includes representatives from the City of Carbondale, Carbondale Interfaith Council, Carbondale Public Library, Good Samaritan House, the Southern Illinois Coalition for the Homeless, Jackson County Health Department, Centerstone, SIU Clinical Center, and the Sparrow Coalition. This working group is seeking donations of $7,500 to launch the center by early January and a total of $50,000 to sustain the center through this and the 2019 winter season. The executive director of Good Samaritan Ministries, Patty Mullen, says like any other warming centers in the area, this one will be open during the night and will give people a safe place to sleep. She says that her ministry helps shelter around 350 people and spoke about why the warming center is needed. And for our full interview with Mullen, you can visit our website, www.news24si.com. Much more local news, sports, and weather is coming up next after the break. But first, here's a look at national news in your Fox News update. In Fox News. A partial shutdown. I'm Rich Dennison, Fox News. The House and Senate have called it a night, guaranteeing a partial government shutdown. Despite a flurry of activity in the hours leading up to a midnight deadline, Congress assured a partial shutdown after both the House and Senate adjourned until noon. Vice President Mike Pence and top White House officials spent hours negotiating with lawmakers. They, too, have called it a night. We're not voting on anything else in this chamber relative to this issue until a global agreement has been reached. Tennessee Republican Senator Bob Corker says any agreement must have the full support of congressional leaders from both parties and President Trump. Fox's Jared Halpert on Capitol Hill. President Trump postponing his planned holiday trip to his private resort in Florida as budget talks continue in Washington, the First Lady and their son heading to Mar-a-Lago tonight. Police believe a missing Colorado mother is dead and have arrested her fiancé. Patrick Frazee was booked into Teller County Jail on suspicion of first-degree murder and solicitation to commit murder. 29-year-old Kelsey Barrett was last seen on Thanksgiving, though her phone was pinged a few days later in Idaho. Woodland Park Police Chief Miles DeYoung says they were able to arrest Patrick after several interviews. They haven't found Kelsey yet, but think after finding items at her home in Colorado that she was murdered there. Our work is just beginning. You will be seeing a great deal of law enforcement activity in our community 
in the coming days and even weeks. the couple has a one year old daughter together who police say will be cared for by kelsey's family. fox's jessica rosenthal the nearly ten year stock market rally taking a hit after another day of big losses left the u s. market with its worst week in more than seven years the major indexes have lost sixteen to twenty six percent of their summer highs barring huge gains during the upcoming holiday period this will be one of the worst decembers for stocks since nineteen thirty one this is fox news Stop. It's a big year in clearance at Rob Ortola and Heron. Now through December 31st, important pricing is available for everyone. Get a 2019 Traverse plus $40,675. Important price just $35,670. Or a 2019 Equinox plus $30,100. Important price just $24,268.
All right, looking nice. Thanks, Terry. Turning back to West Frankfurt tonight, where fraternal organizations in the city are seeing a decline in membership and getting little interest from the younger generation. Audrey Loftus is the post manager for VFW 5764. She became a member two years ago and quickly took on the leadership position. She is concerned the post might not be open much longer. There has been a steady decline of members over the past year and a half, which means less revenue. Loftus says World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam veterans are passing away, and younger veterans have other priorities like coping with PTSD and unemployment. In an attempt to cut back costs, the VFW is now only open three days to serve food. Only a block away, West Frankfurt's Elks Lodge has been facing the same issues. Leading Knight Christina Arms says membership has declined 20% in the past year, and the group also relies on their food nights for income. Arms is worried about growing expenses from the Elks' old building. And for our full interviews with ARMS, visit our website at www.news24si.com. News24 Sports is next. You're listening to News24 at 10. But first, here's Wham! with Last Christmas. Sports next on News 24. My name is Rebecca, and I am a scheduling representative slash patient advocate here at the Community Health Center. I wouldn't have went to Metro. I wouldn't be where I am now. So I wouldn't have even thought of going into the medical field if it wasn't for Metro. At Metro, I really love the people. Everybody was there for everybody. It was all just a great experience. I really love Metro. It's a college. A small college can make a big difference. Think you know auto credit? Think again. Newer cars, newer location, and same easy 10-minute approval. Now with even more financing options. We can help you whether your credit is almost perfect or practically non-existent. From the Marion Supercenter to the new Mount Vernon location, now there is even more to choose from. Auto credit is changing the way Southern Illinois buys cars. In Carbondale, Marion, Benton, and Mount Vernon, or online anytime at GoAutoCredit.com. When storms track, we have your back. Before it hits, as it hits, when it hits, and after it hits. The News 24 weather team, putting your safety first. Welcome to West Frankfurt, the furniture capital of Southern Illinois. Do you have an old nasty recliner that looks like this? Trash, trash it! it. And replace it with a new recliner like this one. And E.R. Brown Furniture, BFJ Interiors, and West Frankfurt House Furnishing. We are the furniture capital of Southern Illinois.
Alright, thanks Michael. Now here is a look at this year's In Memoriam. Alright, sad stuff, but Christmas is fast approaching, and how is our weather looking for next week?
All right, sounds nice. Thank you very much, Terry, and thank you for joining us next week. I'll be taking the week off, but we will be right back here with more news, sports, weather, and a brand new year. Thanks for joining us tonight. Merry Christmas, and have a very, very happy new year. Say.